Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Rao here from The Bass Hang, and I am bringing you a quick little demo video and kind of a tutorial, a short tutorial on how to use the brand new QSC K.2 series PA speaker monitor wedge, um, and this is the 10, the K10.2, how to actually set it up and have it be a really good little combo amp, <laughs> a powerful little combo amp for bass and for upright bass, so for electric and for upright bass. So this is the brand new QSC 10.2 powered speaker, all right? These are meant as, well, they were originally meant to be used as PA speakers or a wedge, a monitor, a floor monitor. This is the second version of the K series by QSC. Again, these are powered PA monitors, PA speakers, monitor speakers, powered. They're about 2,000 watts, so that's a lot of power. Last year, they contacted me. I went and did a few things for them, played through them, tested them out, and I was pretty blown away at how good they sounded and how good they would work as a bass amplifier, a combo bass amplifier. So they recently sent me one to try. This is the second version that has actually digital processing. So I will show you my settings, the bass hang, Steve Araujo settings for optimal bassage through this speaker cabinet. It has a processor, you can do EQ. You also have presets, which I'll go through. Uh, they have a bass amp preset, they have a live preset, they have a monitor preset. So let me talk about the physicality of the cabinet, all right? When we're talking about low end and having a, you know, it being a bass amplifier. So it is kind of the trapezoid design. And as you can see, you can actually set it up like this. So this is the way it would be set up on a couple of stands. So for PA use, right? And the dispersion, the sound dispersion goes out this way, if you can see that. So what happened was I did experiment and I had it set up like this. Um, and it being a smaller box is going to have an inherent sound. It's going to be a little bit more, you know, mid-range focus. It's going to throw a lot, but it's going to have mid-range as opposed to bottom end because of the size of the cabinet. I mean, it's a small size, it weighs about 35-ish pounds. Um, again, for a 2000 watt amp, that's pretty good. So when it's sitting vertical, you have dispersion going out like this, okay? So that's great. It sounded good with bass, sounded all right. Um, it had a little bit of too much mid-range, I think, for me. Um, again, these are all my findings, the Steve Araujo bass hang findings. So when and if you do get one to try and to play, mess with the settings because my findings may not work for you. Everybody plays differently. Everybody has different, you know, very subjective, subjective ideas of how sound and things should sound. So again, it's just one guy trying it out. Um, but I have tried it on a lot of gigs and I think I found a really good way of, uh, of setting it up. So again, here's the vertical way. It didn't really work for me. Then you can set it as a wedge. So it's facing up. All right. So now you have sound dispersion coming out this way, which is great. Again, it had the same kind of sound. It was uh, had some mid-range, a um, little too much mid-range and not enough bottom. So I was thinking, well, let's mess with it and do that so that now, and you're gonna have to picture, this is kind of a table that I have it propped up on, propped up on so I can talk to you guys and show you guys what I'm doing instead of having it on the floor. Picture this as a floor going out. So now the speaker face is almost at a 90 degree angle with the floor. So everything that was supposed to go this way is now going to bounce off of the stage or the floor or whatever. This is still going to be going shooting up like that, right? So you're going to get a lot more coupling to the stage floor. And actually this way gives me or gave me more bottom end. And I really like the way it sounded. So having it sit on its you know, on <laughs> this side, the side opposite of it, what it would sit as a monitor and having the front face at a 90 degree angle as the floor actually sounded best to me and actually gave me the most bottom end and I could feel it. So I, you know, again, it being a smaller box is going to be inherently mid range focused because of the size, but having it this way really, really worked. I play, weekly on this stage. It's kind of a theater wood stage and it, I don't know, it's about a 500 to 600 people theater or seat theater, 500 seat theater. 
and it sounded great. I really, really pushed it because I wanted to see what it would do, and I played a five string. I think I played my MTD uh, five, and it it was great. I did have front of house help, you know, during the actual show, during the concert or the show, but at sound check with drums and a guitar and two vocalists, man, it blew me away, and I was really pushing it. So that's all of my yapping right now, except for. Um, I'm going to show you the back of it and show you my settings, but those are my findings and I hope you dig it. Let's take a look at the back and the settings and the way that I have it hooked up. Okay guys, so here is the back panel of the QSC 10.2. So as you can see, it has this LCD screen in the back and you have your inputs. So this is not going to be a tutorial on how to set this stuff up. I'm just going to go over it very, very quickly. You have three inputs. Your first input is mic and line. Your second, your input two, is your instrument line. So that's the one I go into. It has a high impedance instrument line. There's my gain, okay? And then my third input here is for any kind of MP3 player, whatever, backing tracks, because again, this is a public uh, address PA speaker slash monitor, or can be used as that, okay? For our purposes, we're using it as a bass amp. So you can go through here and you can go through pick your different inputs. So on B, the bass hang settings, this input, B, is set to instrument, okay? Now, there's a lot of presets. Again, this is gonna get you into that menu. There's a ton of presets here. There is, as you can see, stage monitor, bass amp, uh, acoustic guitar, vocal, all that. I did try the bass amp setting, and to me, the live setting actually sounded better. It worked for me much, much better. It sounded more open, it gave me more bottom end. So I'm sticking to the live setting. All right, so let's go down here. Um, no sub, uh, no delay, blah, blah, blah. So that's, all these other settings are gonna be used in case you're using it as a PA speaker. You're using two, more than one speaker. Again, we're using it as a bass amp, okay? Uh, so my EQ, that's another important, important thing. These are my settings. These are the bass hang settings where I actually found that the, this actual K10.2 sounds killer as a bass amp. Okay, so, and all these are savable as user settings. So I saved this. So as you can see, it has a four band EQ, all right, so for highs, I cut 1.8K by 3 dB. And then for EQ1, I cut 800 hertz, which is kind of a mid-range frequency, minus 3 dB. It also has Q, I left that as 0.7. Everything else is set the same or at zero. So those are the two frequencies that I found really, really helped to round this, the K10.2 by QSC, <laughs> helps to make this a viable bass amp. So, that high frequency, that 1.8K, actually gets rid of some of that string hiss that you get um, with the high end, because this does have a high end driver. And then the cutting that 800 hertz cut, it, cut that mid-range and actually gave the box more of a bottom end, more low end. So those are the bass hang settings. As you can hear, that's the fan. So the fan is actually relatively quiet. Again, we're driving, I mean, this is a, about a 2,000 watt speaker. It's kind of crazy. Um, and I did push it the other day. So, uh, and it lived. All right. So those are the EQ settings. If I go back, there it is. So I'm in, I'm going to be in the B input instrument. I'm going to be at live for my preset. No sub, zero delays. And I'm not using another speaker. My EQ is in and I have it saved as user one. So if I go into my EQ, that's going to be user one and EQ in. You can actually choose to have it in or out, okay? So I hope that helps. This is the K10.2 being used as a bass amp. Really, really good. And oh, I will say, for this, for the, our talk here, our little talk about the back panel, I do have it vertical, but I do use it horizontally so that the front face is actually at 90 degree angle. For the demos, it's going to be up on this, just so you can see it. So. Hopefully you'll hear some of the bottom end. It's not too boxy, but in a gig setting, it actually works really well. So enjoy.
Thank mm-hmm. you.